Hello again folks, welcome to the prize draw for competition time number 8. Uh, that's my channel at 2000 subscribers now, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel and supporting me, uh, for liking and sharing my videos and of course for your valued input into those videos. It's really nice to see people helping each other out, people are asking questions and if I'm not answering the questions, the community is jumping in and answering those questions for you. Absolutely fantastic, it's exactly what I want from this channel, people helping each other out and maybe along the way learning something new. So, talking about questions, I'm going to cover uh, a question that's been asked quite a few times uh, on my channel regarding the 555 timer circuit, uh, but we'll do that after the prize draw. So, let's do it now. Uh, we'll go to old uh, YouTube uh, random comment picker, that's commentpicker.com forward slash YouTube. I shall uh, paste the uh, relevant URL in and click go, and that tells me that 51 of you have entered this time. So, we'll click start and pick a winner. Good luck. And the winner is... Alan King. Anne Eng would be the one for me. Alright, Alan, well, congratulations. You have won. What I need you to do is uh, go to my YouTube channel on a desktop PC. I don't think it works on the Android app or Apple. But anyway, go to uh, the About page and click Send Message. And what I need you to do is just pop your full name and address in there, if Alan King isn't your real name, um, and just tell me what sort of level of electronics you're at, um, and if there's anything particular you would like. Now, I did say it would be a, a slightly better than the normal prize, so yeah, um, if you need a new multimeter or something like that, or you just like a, a kit to build, you know, something uh, a bit better than normal, then let me know, and I will get that sent out to you. So, once again, congratulations, Alan, and commiserations to everyone else. Remember, every 250 subscribers, um, I do a prize draw, so there's going to be plenty more opportunities to win. Right, let's move on to this. So, um, a little while ago, I made a really tiny 555 uh, timer circuit, LED, basically within the footprint of the chip itself. Um, and you know, it wasn't a brilliant video. Uh, I'm trying to learn by learn to have something in front of you. I think there was about two minutes of just a, a grey worktop and it really wasn't that good. But anyway, it's had so many views. I think it's at about 25,000 views now, that video. Um, it's probably one of my most popular videos I've done, believe it or not. But, I digress. Um, the question I'm always getting asking is, how do you change the flash rate of a 555 timer? There's essentially two ways we can do this. Um, one, by changing the value of the resistors, or changing the value of the capacitor. Uh, sorry, capacitor. Get your teeth back in, Chris. Um, so, in this video, I'm not going to touch the resistors. By all means, have a play about with it, um, and see... You know, see if it makes a difference. It will make a difference, of course. Um, another option is to put um, a potentiometer, a variable resistor, whatever you want to call it, in series with those resistors, and then you can actually tweak it up and down the actual rate of flash. But in this video, I'm purely going to concentrate on capacitors, as I say. So, without getting into the fundamentals of electronics, um, a resistor, as the name suggests, it creates a uh, well, you know, reduces a resi you know, it causes a resistance of the flow of, of current, if that makes sense. Um, think of it as a pipe. Um, the higher the uh, value of resistor, the narrower the pipe. So if that was a fluid or water, um, the higher the value of resistor, let's say, the smaller the pipe, smaller diameter the pipe, it means that the water is going to flow more slowly through that. Okay, really basic stuff there. Um, and to move on to capacitors, which is what we're going to concentrate on here, is um, think of that as a bucket or a vessel to hold said fluid or water. Um, and by changing the value of the capacitor for a larger bucket, if you like, um, essentially the bucket is going to take longer to fill. And the longer it takes to fill, the longer it's going to take to drain as well. And that's exactly what happens with the 555 timer. We've got our DC coming in, it's going through the resistors, through the chip. It's charging up um, a capacitor and then draining that capacitor. Charging up, draining it, charging up, draining it. And that's what gets your flashing effect. So, this is a one uh, microfarad capacitor. That's what I used in that previous video. And what I thought I'd do in this video is basically show you different values of a capacitor and um, you know just see what effect that has on the, the, the flashing of the the LED 
So it's simply going to be a case that I'm going to plug in various capacitors and tell you what values they are essentially. So this one here is uh, 0.22 microfarad. So this is going to obviously because it's a smaller one. If that was one, so this is about quarter quarter of the size of capacity. If I pop it in, you can see that flashes quite rapidly. Now I'll just try and drag down the exposure on the camera, maybe so you can see it a little bit clearer. So fairly rapid. The next one along is 0.47 microfarad. And you can see that's probably about half a hertz, half a second, something like that. This one here, I should have wrote these all down. These are 2.2 microfarad. Get in. There you go, and that's about two hertz, about two settings. One banana, two banana, three banana. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, about a second and a half, something like that. This is a 4.7 microfarad. Now that's probably neither two seconds actually, yeah. And finally, uh, I'm going to do a 10 microfarad. Now, this will take quite some time, I'd imagine, probably five seconds or so. Yeah, four or five seconds. So there you go, you get a, the kind of idea of how it's working. Um, yeah, the bigger, bigger the capacitor, the slower the flash rate, of course, the smaller the faster. So there we go, there's a, a nice fast one, I think that's the 0.22. So that is basically how you can adjust the flash rate of um, the 555, or the flash rate of the LED, but using the 555 to, to do that. Now, I don't know what um, what the purpose or what um, application the people that have been asking these questions are going to use this for. However, I would suggest that if you're going to be using it for model making, uh, stuff like that, you could probably buy off the shelf flashing LEDs with um you know varying flash rates, various frequencies of flash if you like. So it might be worth investigating. I haven't looked personally, but you can buy off the shelf very cheaply from China uh, flashing LEDs. You get a bag of a hundred for you know a couple of pounds in clean delivery. So it's uh, definitely something worth looking into. Um, rather than building up bespoke circuits um, for your projects. Um, of course, if you just want a bit of challenge, something different to do, by all means, crack on. Um, hopefully, this video will have helped. Um, I haven't obviously went into designing this circuit. If you just Google 555 LED, you'll get plenty of circuit diagrams helping you out with that, uh, with that build. So, thanks very much yet again. Um, I will, at this point, just uh, say something. Um, in my last multimeter video, I forgot to mention that um, Martin Davis, um, he's got a brilliant YouTube channel. He's fairly new to YouTube. He's only got just over 50 subscribers. Um, he gave me a shout out in his channel um, in his last video. And I thought I'd just return the favour. He's far more knowledgeable than me when it comes to Arduino and Raspberry Pi and stuff like that. So if you're into that sort of stuff, definitely go and check out his channel. I'll pop uh, a link to it down in the description below. There we go. Thank you very much again for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. Um, and if you haven't already done so, if you'd like to do so, click on the fat head down here. Once again, guys, uh, take care of yourselves. And as always, all the best.